Jessica Regan. You'll have to check the uh, Madison Story Sam archives for that story. Um, but I think it takes a certain kind of courage to stop and say hello to a stranger. Especially if that stranger's reaction matters to you, it's a risk, right? You don't know until that hello is out of your mouth or that friendly wave is hanging in the air or you hit the send button, how that's going to be received. It might be received with great care in the way that you want and you make a great connection. Um, it could lead to immediate or eventual regret because, wow, that was dangerous or just really awkward. Um, or you might not get any reaction to it at all. Uh, I think these days they call that uh, left on red. Uh, I was left on red once, 16 years ago. Uh, my boss sent out an office-wide email that there was a new hire starting the following week. And so that new hire happened to be in my university network. That was a thing with Facebook back then that you could only connect with people within your university network. Um, and so I sent a message and I just said, hello, congratulations on your job, looking forward to working with you. And I got nothing back. And which is kind of a weird way to start to work with someone by just completely dismissing them. But that's fine, I um, still get to tease them about it because we've been married for the past 15 years. <laughs> Uh, we have a sweet little boy at home. He just turned four years old a few weeks ago, and he is the, the light of my life. It's, it's so wild to be here standing here and saying that he turned four years old because I was on this stage, it feels like not that long ago, um, announcing to this crowd before I'd even shared on social media that we were expecting. Um, and this crowd got to see my baby bump grow over those months when I was up telling stories during my pregnancy. Um, and has gotten to hear a little bit about him as an infant, but it's, it's good to be back and be able to share an update about how that little boy is doing. Um, and one thing I really admire about him is he is really good at boldly starting conversations with strangers. <laughs> His go-to line is, hi, what's your name? And sometimes I try to protect the general public from those kind of questions from a four-year-old. Because I know when I'm out in public, I'm not looking to just start a conversation with a kid that I don't know. And I get that's the case for um, a lot of people. But I've also been really grateful and a little surprised um, to see the response that people give him when he talks to anybody, and I mean everybody, and starts with, hi, what's your name? And it doesn't matter if we're in a public restroom washing our hands after we've gone potty. It doesn't matter if we're at a basketball game and there's someone within earshot. It doesn't matter if we are at a hotel and the person for refilling the muffins at the Continental Breakfast, like he will approach you and say, hi, what's your name? And I really, again, I, I admire that about that him. I love that about him. Um, and there's one person in particular that he enjoys greeting every week, actually, for the past several years. Um, and that's the man who drives the garbage truck past our house. We are in an ideal situation for the garbage collection on Tuesday morning. We are on a street where the garbage truck drives down one way, does a little Y turn at the end of our street and comes back our way. So we've got you know, a good 15 seconds notice that it's time to get out the door, the garbage truck is coming. Um, and it comes at a perfect time for us on Tuesday mornings at 7-ish a.m. We're getting ready to leave the house for the day. Um, there have been times in the past where, you know, we're still getting dressed. Let's wrap you up in a blanket and get you out on the front porch because it's time to wave at the garbage truck driver. And we started this a few years ago um, during COVID when we were all staying at home and not, we literally didn't get out much. Not a lot new was happening around the house. So to see a great big truck to a four-year-old boy and um, you know, one, two, three, four-year-old boy is something really special to get to see a great big garbage truck right in front of your own house. And so um, our garbage truck driver is the best. It started with like, we would give a little wave as we, you know, he saw that we were watching him do his work. And it's kind of evolved into every week we get a wave we get a honk, and I apologize to my neighbors at 7 a.m. That's not wanting to hear a big garbage truck honking, but that's what we get. Um, and we even get a double dump. So he you know, takes our garbage from our garbage bin and then puts it into the front dumpster on the garbage truck. And then the 
he like waits for our house to move that garbage um, bin in the front and unload it into the back of the truck. So we're seeing like a lot of mechanical movements on this giant truck in front of our house. And again, to a four-year-old boy, that is just something really special. Um, and you know, we sent him a card for the holidays with a gift card one year to say how much we appreciate that sort of um, connection that we have and just to have something that um, really makes our day. And so it's something that we look forward to on Tuesday mornings. This past Tuesday morning was even a little more special than that. We were there waiting for our garbage truck driver at 7-ish a.m. on that Tuesday morning. We did our wave and heard the honk and saw the garbage dump into the back of the truck. And then the garbage truck driver put the truck in park and he grabbed something off the dashboard, got out of the truck and started walking up our driveway. And he looked at me and said, is this okay? And I just nodded real hard. I didn't know what was, he was asking if it was okay, but the answer was gonna be yes, no matter what it was. Like, we've got that trust. Yeah, yes, it's okay, whatever's going on right now. Um, and I had started a video real discreet on my phone, so I also didn't want to be like shouting back to him. Um, but he was carrying a box, and in that box was a mini garbage truck toy that looked exactly like the one that he drives every day. And he walked up to my son and he said, he walked up to my son and said, "We wanted to get you your own truck. Here you go." And my son said, "Thank you." <laughs> and I was speechless because that's not normal. I don't think. Um, to my knowledge, it's not normal for someone to stop the work that they're doing and give a gift to someone who enjoys waving at them every Tuesday morning. Um, but I took a, a line from my son and I said, what's your name? And he said, I'm Aaron. It makes my day to see you out here waving every Tuesday morning. We missed you the past couple weeks. We had been on vacation two weeks before and then my son was sick the previous Tuesday and so he was sleeping in. Um, but he said, you know, it's been a long time, time coming, but we wanted to get you your own truck. And then he turned back and went back in his truck and kept on going to work down our street collecting garbage. And my son probably said 200 times that day, this is my real garbage truck. And I said, yes, it is. And it was just a truck, right? And I can't even tell you the number of times I've teared up this past week thinking it's not just a truck. That truck is a symbol of, wow, somebody saw you and noticed you and cared about you. And wow, like as a mom, to see my son be so seen was the most precious thing and a reason why I feel like we should all just keep saying, hi, what's your name? Thank you.